Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I uh, have to admit that I'm going to change my uh, opinion on uh, the Ukrainian mass media at this point. Because lately, which is today and yesterday, I found articles where they did not only state that the Russians are hitting uh, churches and uh, not churches rarely, but uh, kindergartens and residential uh, parts of uh, you know residential areas and uh, they this is like the third article where I see that actually the Ukrainians are reporting that the Russians hit military targets successfully and this is one of them and it's in Kiev Oblast so let's see what this is all about this article comes from Ukrainska Pravda and their rating is not 98 anymore is about uh, 90 so with uh, reporting. Ukrainska Pravda, today, July 28, 2022. Kiev Oblast missile strike, Russian forces hit and damage military base. Surprise, surprise. The Russian missile strike on Kiev Oblast on the morning of 28th of July targeted a military base inflicting structural damage. The source is Oleksiy Hromov, deputy chief of the main operational directorate of the general staff of the armed forces of U Ukraine. Whew, that was long. In response to journalists' questions during a press briefing on July 28th, quote from Hromov, at about 5, which is 5 a.m., the enemy launched six caliber miss cruise missiles on a military base in the village of Liuts Liut I would say Liutis in Kiev Oblast. So far we know that one building has been destroyed and two have been damaged. In addition, one cruise missile missile was shot down in the in the air over the Bucha or Bukha quarry. Details. Hromov said that the Russian missiles were launched from the waters of the Black Sea from the area near Cape Fiolent or Fioland, I would say Fioland, from the waters of Black Sea. I'm trying to look how much territory the missiles traveled from the Black Sea all over, um, how do you call that, uh, Odessa. It's a long, uh, long trip, long, big distance. With regard to Chernihiv Oblast, the spokesman for the Ukrainian general staff has clarified that Russian forces launched around 20 rockets on the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces near the village of Honcharivke, using multiple rocket launchers between 5.25 and 6.30 a.m. The rockets were launched from the village of Ziabrovka in the Republic of Belarus. That's not cool. Uh, our military personnel have suffered losses that's it that's, it. that's uh, um, interesting uh, we are waiting to confirm the number Romov added now I don't know if they said it just because they did it from but one is from the Black Sea so look at this they use the caliber uh, missiles for uh, right to military base in Kiev Oblast, six caliber missiles, and then they used uh, 20 rockets from Belarus. This again gets me to that point where, and they reported personnel have suffered losses and uh, infrastructure hit and damage, destroyed and damaged. This uh, brings me again to the again to that. Uh, um, Things, uh, something I said before and I will say it again how could you this this war is something something very unkosher not kosher with it and uh, I'm telling you my assessment on this what do you mean you 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 shoot missiles from another country but that country cannot be hit back so it's like uh, I'm hiding behind a, uh, a civilian and I'm shooting, you know, using a, a civilian shield. What, what is this? You use Belarus to shoot Ukraine 
and Ukraine is not going to shoot anybody in Belarus, I think it should be a fair game for the uh, Ukrainians to hit those targets. And then guess what? If they shoot the, the Ukrainians, try to shoot the targets in Belarus, what do you think is going to happen? Obviously, uh, Lukashenko and everybody else is going to jump and say, let give me my coat, my darling, I'm going to war. They say, oh, look, they attacked. And then I, I think it's legitimate. Don't you think? You hit me from there. What? Is there a, a, a location I'm not supposed to touch? Because why? I'm like a sitting duck here. That's one. The other one, as I said before, regarding the same kind of issue. If the Russians use their Russian Federation territory, not the occupied territory. I'm not talking about uh, the, this uh, DPR and LPR and whatever. No, not that. No, but from the territory of the Russian Federation before, let's say, February 24th. If they, the Russians, are using that territory to launch missiles or rockets towards my positions, I think it's only fair play, fair game, <laughs> to hit back those positions. Now, if they hit civilians and towns, again, match the, the, the damage. I would do that. And I don't know why they don't do it. And my uh, little guess about that is because this is a very, very controlled, very controlled war. They tell us, oh my God, how, I, how can you say that? Look at, did you see the images? Did you see the pictures? Did you see the comments? The Russians are just indiscriminately uh, destroy everything. They hit towns, they hit uh, this and that. And that. How, how can you say that? Well, first, there's no atomic bombs, nuclear bombs used. So that's restraint, isn't it? It's like I employ my, I want to fight you, but I'm going to use only three fingers when I have everything else to beat you up in no time. And I'm struggling with the three fingers because I don't think the Russians are really rolling over Ukraine. It's what, five months, six months? And they're still, you know, yeah, that's kind of, but still at the phase one, maybe almost two. It's true the other phases will come, it will come the Russian phases that they claim they, they and they stated that they want to achieve with this uh, Ukrainian crisis. They will come immediately after the first phase is uh, accomplished. So um, if they hit me from that territory, fair play to, to hit there. And then, as I said, it's a control uh, war. Those guys don't use autom automatic weapons. I think they use them. <laughs> they don't use uh, uh, atomic bombs. Now, the Ukrainians don't hit the territory of Russia, but Russia can hit my territory. Now, the Americans tell the Ukrainians, we're going to give you this uh, high Mars with uh, 50 miles or 60 miles uh, radius range. What is this? But, but, and do not hit the Russian territory. Let them hit you, but you don't hit them. What is this? Is this war? You see, another controlled. Now, the Russians do not close their eyes and do like this and destroy Kiev overnight. Another controlled thing. They don't take Zelensky off. They don't, they're not after it, after it, after him. They claim, oh no, they want to get rid of Zelensky. I don't think they want to get, get rid of Zelensky. Zelensky is going to go away peacefully and he will be fired by his bosses. That's what's going to happen with Zelensky or his own entourage, the people around him, they're going to take care of him, like it happened in many, many examples in history. So this is a control thing. Those guys shoot from Belarus. I'm not going to shoot them back. Um, on the other hand, the other thing was from Black, the Black Sea. They have the capability and finally they, not finally, but it was an article saying that they had, uh, you know, casualties and this was destruction here and there. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.